everybody, Slash and BC here, and I'm about to start a new NetHack series. A priest, uh, maybe a priestess, a chaotic priest. Definitely. But um, we're going to try a, a evil little NetHack trick this time. I don't want just any priest. I want a certain priest. Or priestess. Uh, I'm going to be chaotic. I don't know what god I'm going to get. I'm hoping for Anher, my favorite NetHack god for some reason. Um... I thought that the gods were aligned with whatever uh, class you were. I didn't think it was... Well, you bring up an excellent point. And that point is that uh, all classes and alignments have their own gods. But in the case of priests, they can have any of the gods from the other uh, classes. Oh. Because they're a priest. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Um... But we're going to do some spawn scumming. Now, this is not cheating. I swear. It's not game breaking or anything. It's not hacking or exploiting or anything like that. It's just you start a priest and you see what his inventory is like. And if you don't like what he has on him, you just get him out and you start a new one. Okay. That's what we're going to do until I get what I want. And I'm going to save you the pain of watching that, but as soon as I get one that I like, um, I'll be back. All right, guys, finally. I think I can honestly say the odds of getting a spell book of identify on your priest are relatively low. What do you think we went through there, Nye? About 20? At least. At yes. least 20. Um, the detect unseen, I don't really care about. Let's get this mouse back where it goes. There we go. A little technical fail. Uh, detect unseen. I'm not even sure what that spellbook does. I guess you could see invisible things. I don't know. It's not called a spellbook of see invisible, is it? I mean, what is detect yeah, unseen? You can try the spell and see. Maybe. Uh, the priest starts with his holy water, of course. The mace, you know, the robe, which helps in spell casting and can be worn over body armor. The small shield. There's no big whoop. It's really just a hint that you're using a one-handed weapon, I think. Clove of garlic, sprig of wolfsbane goes along with the whole, you know. I mean, the priest is supposed to be, in one respect, a... I like that I uh, started with a harp. Oh, by the way, playing a chaotic elven priestess, whose god is Poseidon. Uh, but anyway, the idea of the priest being, you know, uh, turn undead... Her name is Elvira. And her name is Elvira. Uh, the idea of the priest as a warrior who turns away werewolves and vampires and turns away the undead and whatnot, you know. That. So, but, um, even though that's the case, I think the fact that when you can play a chaotic priest, you know, it seems like you're more in league with vampires and werewolves than against them. To me. <laughs> oh, really? Are you going to be friends, though? I don't think that's possible, but... Neutral, you can convert this altar. I'm going to convert this altar because Poseidon will not abide Hermes. Yeah. No. No. And nobody abides Hermes. And for Poseidon's sake, I will despise Hermes throughout this playthrough. Wasn't Hermes your god on your last? Uh... I think it was. On what? Your healer or something? That's entirely possible, yeah. Um, because you anger Hermes so much that, that he forsook you and tried to kill you. Took away your levels, took away your protection. Was that Hermes? Pretty sure it was. Yeah, well, you know what? Hermes can rot in whatever fake little heaven he's in right now. Okay? What the heck? Another neutral altar. Another altar to Hermes. Uh huh. So, being a priest, I know that this is an uncursed dagger, and this is an uncursed uh, iron skull cap. If it was cursed, it would let me know that. Uh, see what my spell rates are. So, to cast Identify, it's a level 3 spell. I'm going to have to level up before I can use that spell. So, we'll just wear the metal armor for now. It's not going to hurt my spell casting, and it never hurts to have a little protection. Head's a good place to have some protection because of traps, right? Sure. Of course, the water traps, you're going to rust it. And... Alright, go sacrifice that bad boy. Yeah? Think that's wise when I'm experience level 1? It's not going to do anything. Yeah? Well, I'm dungeon level 1. Okay. 
You can make it back there before the corpse rots. No, it says, unluckily, you feel uh, the power of Poseidon decrease. I only have to do it again. wonder why you're not lucky yet. Because it's the start of the game, I guess. It's not a full moon, maybe. Yeah, but I have to do that all the time and convert altars all the time. Well, we could just walk around until the monsters, you know, generate, I guess. Get that altar converted. You I name that dog, man. Yeah, he's barking a lot, isn't he? Mm -hmm. All right, how many we got here? I picked up two corpses this time. Uh oh. All right, let's get these jackals offered up. Again, the power of Poseidon decreases. <laughs> Like oh, no. I've ever heard of. This is not good. That's three decreases in his power. Jeez. Alright, well, let's, uh. Hang out. Let's get another. Oh. Ah, ah, ew, ew, ah. Get away from my potential corpses, dog. What are you gonna name your dog? Uh. Go, go for it. Jorge. George? <laughs> no, Jorge. That's how you spell Jorge, isn't it? J O R G E? Jorge? I guess you can spell it that way. There you go. No more barking. Thanks. Man, I wish we'd have known that a long time ago. Me too. It's about a nickel for every time. One of us woke the other one up playing this game by the animal barking and meowing. <laughs> Try to sneak in a quick game of net hack or slash them and then you Right. Between your own pets and your net hack pets, it's just a. Yeah. Sounds like a zoo in here. Not quite. I mean, a zoo that consists of one or two cats and a, <laughs> and a theoretical dog, you know. Right. It's a heck of a zoo. Well, it would be nice if the game would. Uh, aha! Yeah, yeah, no. Wow. Your luck sucks, man. Probably yeah. from all that spawn scouting. That would have no effect on your luck, you know it. Well, the game's punishing you. You know, what it's punishing me for is sacrificing in the first 50 turns of the game as an experience level one character that's got no luck or alignment. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have listened to you. Why? Because I do that every time I find an altar. Really? If I find an altar in the very first room I'm in, I sacrifice to let things change. I assure you, I did not give you any advice for something I don't do myself. Okay, well, I'm going to make a cut here. Uh, when I get a corpse, I'll be back. Okay, looks like uh, I'm going to starve to death before I get another corpse to offer on that altar. So we're going to have to take the hit right now and go on down in search of food and whatnot. My dog down. I wonder if I should leave him behind. Normally I would, just so he didn't get in the way of the corpses and kills. But in the priest's case... I should take him downstairs and... Then come back up and try to find something to sacrifice. Right. So I, stop eating all your corpses. I think he did nab a corpse. Did I eat all my food rations? I've got one partly eaten. Um, let's go ahead and get that eaten. I think they go bad after you've taken a bite out of them. As they should. Chaotic altar. Okay, so that's good. That will help undo the effects of the other sacrifices, which hurt my 
piety, I guess, or luck. I'm not sure which. Okay, this is the main dungeon branch. Well, no, I'm not sure. i got to look for another staircase. They say that there are no skeletons when there are no skeleton keys. Uh, okay. Thanks, Floor, for that tip. <laughs> what would we do without you, Floor? Who would write that on the floor? I am. I've got a helpful, some, excuse me, but probably not a very bright person, you know? Write that stuff on the wall. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, um, we played Dark, Dark, Demon Souls. Oh, yeah, that's everything. a good... I mean, people will write all kinds of crap. Right, on the floor, no less. Yeah. That's, everybody wrote on the floor in Demon Johnny. Souls. <laughs> right. Treasure below, and, the, and then there's not. I don't have a key, do I? Oh, how am I doing on my casting? I'm you're... still failing at my casting. What That's a... weird, because you're level 30. Yeah. Is my wisdom low? No, my wisdom's 17. That's not too bad. 84% fail. I've got to level up some more before I can identify. Hmm. Well, that's okay. We'll just have to plan on leveling up consistently and not dying. <laughs> I've gotten the word from a friend of mine now that I can't die because he's making a thumbnail with this character's name on it. So hopefully by the time you guys on YouTube see this, you'll be going, man, check out that thumbnail. Right Has the video quality improved? answer that no has the commentary gotten better <laughs> absolutely not no but the thumbnail man when you see it you're gonna go what all right well i don't know i'm gonna go check out the level above first i was hoping to get some sacrifice oh yeah i almost don't ran into battle against that thing which would be a horrible decision I mean, typically <gasps> I would oh. recommend you do attack it. Now, we're approaching the situation that we were in a few days ago, just playing basically NetHack Roulette. Hey, George is attacking me. Poor Hey. And he, why? He must... He's starving. No, I'll bet he's confused. I, th why? I think that's the case. Let me take one more step away. Yeah, he's just confused. They can get... No, I don't uh, I don't think so. I think he might have bit a yellow mold or something. I hope that's the case. He's, he's not rabid. Hallucinating. Or... Well, I've got a uh, wolf spain in that event. If it comes to that. Pick him, said it's so easy. Like you won't be heartbroken if you have to put Jorge down, but he's your loyal friend. Ah, uh, yeah, I almost kicked my loyal friend right in the right in the, right in the, right in the mouth. <laughs> he stepped on the box I was kicking. Hey, don't get on that box while I'm kicking it. The adults are doing something here. <laughs> kicking box. Bang, bang. Well, you bang. can understand why he's confused. He's like, what are you mad about, dude? Why are you kicking that ball? Alright, I got a food ration, so we're not going to starve immediately. It's a positive. Ah, <sighs> that's good. So, okay, I got a good scroll out of there. Well, a scroll. A cursed scroll. <laughs> so, good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. Meh. I mean, you, you just don't know yet. Hopefully one day you'll be able to cast identify and then you'll know. I know. That's the whole idea. Well, this level had very little for me. One food ration, I guess. It's good. No real corpses. Um, you know, when I was playing with my healer and I left the dungeon, I realized that I really hadn't explored, see like this situation, we know there's a room here somewhere, probably. over there on the left side probably, 
I just I just didn't explore the early levels very thoroughly. I don't know why I didn't do that. I think you're missing an opportunity there, you know? Right. So I'm gonna you were diving, I guess. Right. It's, oh, I'm gonna get to the bottom of the mines real quick and or whatever. Uh, this isn't the level with the altar, though, is it? No. You just gave up. Now, I got a tip that lights and corpses don't rot. You can actually hang on to those for later, but I'm hungry anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna wind up eating something. I've got one. Hey, here we go. An armor dealership. Hmm. That could be good. The problem is gonna be this gas pour. Let's, uh, close this door. So the gas pour can't trap me in the shop. I've got 116 gold, which isn't going to be... It might get me one piece of enchanted armor. Uh, yeah, but you can uh, tell already if it's cursed or not, right? Mm-hmm. And price identify a little. Gloves are 10, boots are 10. So that's nothing. Uh, we could go for a nice leather armor. We've got plenty to choose from. Yeah. Uh, crested helmet is 17. Is this? That's a ring mail. It's not studded leather. Let's try on the leather armor sets here. That's 6. That's, uh, 33 for the blessed studded leather. 13 for that leather. Buckled boots are 10. There we go. Cursed combat boots for 40. If they're cursed, I want no traffic with them right now. I don't care what they are. Uh, there's a longsword, but of course I'm not lawful, so it doesn't matter. There won't be any dipping for Excalibur going on. And a pair of jack boots for 16. I'm curious about those. Well, I mean, the only good thing I could see would be just the studded leather. Uh, my AC right now is 7. If I put that blessed studded leather on, it drops it to 5 from 9. Ooh. So I get f to plus 1 studded. Studded has a little metal in it, so it will mess with my spell casting some. But I would like those 4 points of AC. So I'm going to put my robe on over that. And let's try on another, let's try these padded gloves on here. Which, did it even drop it by a point? No, but it's always good to have gloves. And shoe-wise, I would like to try these elven ones. They only dropped it by one, but they're quiet walking because they're elven, so that's cool. And didn't I, I try, I had a skull cap on. We can try this crested helmet. Which will drop my AC by one point. Your AC uh, is zero with all that on? Mm hmm. Not too shabby, right? Didn't find any really nice enchanted stuff in here, but at least uh, I can afford what I put on, I think. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, that's good. And then stuff you can enchant up and having a level 0 AC, pretty decent. So, what weapons can you wield? The priest? Oh, yeah, my, my master plan for the priest is a uh, enchanted unicorn horn for a weapon. Uh, to me, that's going to be the one to, to have. Uh, I bet I'm at 90% fail. Well, um, mace and, like, I think pole arm or pole axe or something like that, I think the priest can actually bring up to expert, whereas the unicorn horn, he can only bring up the skilled, but the unicorn horn is a completely decent weapon. And, uh, more so than the mace.
So, but I mean, do you get, if you sacrifice a lot, will you get a good weapon, possibly? Well... Do you know what your first sacrifice gift is? I actually don't. If you have access to a wiki, you might check it out. Oh, I'm cold. Ooh. Uh, let's see. This is where the Gnomish Mines branch is. I don't think my priest can handle the mines right now. That's the mines. Let's do the mines later. Although I feel a lot better now that my AC has come down some. Yeah. Nope. Did it leave a corpse? You can sacrifice it. If I can get there in time. Yeah, I should be able to. Floating eye. Seriously. I don't know why I did. I could. I'm going to hold on to it for food. I really don't want to starve to death. And I'm out of food rations for now, so until I find some more. It won't go bad, so I can save it for either one, you know? Oh. Food ration. Thank you, Poseidon. Oh, bat. Saved by my low AC. Alrighty. So, okay, let's go over our goals. I think it's going to be maybe getting close to time to wrap the episode up. I'm not sure. But uh, let's. Uh, we're going to level up until we can cast Identify. If we have to take our armor off to make sure the spell casts, that's no problem. We'll just get a nice stash going of things to identify and uh, go take our metal off. Identify everything in the game by the time we get to dungeon level 15. <laughs> That's a lofty goal. Identify everything in the game? Mm-hmm. Go into the mine, I mean every potion, every scroll, and get a significant uh, maybe spellbook collection going because one of the things that I want to be able to cast is magic mapping. That way when I get to Gehenna, I just map it. One cast, boom, I know where the staircases are. I don't have to search well, what forever. What is a priest casting ability, like, uh, spell-wise? Can they cast all classes of all spells, or...? No, their weakest cast is uh, attack spells. Now, I believe they can cast Magic Missile once they level up. Ah, ha! I have a light gen for you, sir. See, I don't really want to throw in my... Um, I I've got a question for you, though. I know you can get Lycanthropy from a werewolf. That's what the wolf's bane is for. But vampires don't turn you into vampires, so what's the garlic for? I have no idea. Isn't that... Oh, I can't believe I've never thought of that before, but yeah. So it seems like I could throw this horse some garlic, and he would be like, thanks, I love garlic. <laughs> How did you know? I always wanted some garlic. All right, I fed the pony a lichen, and that tamed him, so that worked out good. I didn't know they need a lichen. <sighs> I suspected it because a lichen is uh, not a meat. You know, as a vegan, you mm -hmm. can eat lichen. And without losing your conduct, your monks could be eating that, but they just choose not to. Oh, yeah, I need it as a monk. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. But anyways, bell book uh, of Identify that we uh, spawn scummed for an hour to get. Uh, check. <laughs> now we need to be able to cast it. Unicorn horn for a weapon and start training that as a skill until I've got a, say, plus three unicorn horn that I can wield and just kick butt with. I'm thinking of getting reflection from hopefully a shield of reflection or an amulet of reflection, but I do plan on carrying a shield because I'm pretty sure a unicorn's a one-handed weapon. Also, I've got holy water, four of them, which means I never have to pray to make holy water, which is awesome. I'm going to make a bunch more holy water and then bless everything. I'm going to have a blessed magic marker. I'm going to have a blessed bag of holding. I'm going to have a blessed touchstone, identify a ton of gems. 
That's assuming you find attention. These are the plans. Oh, okay. I These are the plans. This. Okay, it's a plan. And, yes. with, and with that, I am going to wrap this episode up. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and wish me luck in the uh, upcoming episodes. I hope this priest lasts a long time. Me too. At Thanks. least four episodes. At least six. <laughs> Thanks for joining me now. And if you want to watch a bunch more quality uh, NetHack videos, check out Nymeria's channel, Nimcraft. And, uh, oh hey, there's a new guy on YouTube. Yeah. Making uh, NetHack videos. Uh, the channel is Dwarvish Elvish, no, Dwarf Elvish Diplomacy. He makes uh, really long Let's Plays. He likes to do NetHack Roulette. He's on Twitch under the same name, so if you get a chance, check him out. See you guys. Bye.